Hello and welcome back to another Django tutorial. My name is Tom with Master Code Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to go ahead and set up Bootstrap and create a template and um, create some views and create some URLs and then save a Git repository. That's a lot to cover in today's tutorial, but I'm trying to get us up and running as quickly as possible. So that's what we're going to cover. Before we get started, it is important to note there is a million different ways to set up static files in Django. With that being said, I'm going to show you the simplest way to set this up. Um, if you guys have any questions throughout the process, I encourage you to ask me. Um, also, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, oh, yeah. If to make your life a lot easier, there's a link if you're on YouTube in the description to our website. In our website, you'll find a bunch of links that we're going to need today, like uh, to get the CSS and JavaScript, also to get the template. Um, so there's a lot going on in here, uh, especially when we get down to where did I pet? I must have passed it. When we get down here to import the JavaScript files, there is a lot to discuss and it'd be a lot easier for you guys to just copy and paste this stuff in. So visit our website and copy this stuff in. Um, all right, let's get started. First thing we're going to need is the um, CSS and JavaScript from Git Bootstrap. So we're going to go ahead and open that link. We're going to look for compiled CSS and JavaScript. And we're going to click download. As that downloads, um, next thing we need to do is open our text editor. In here, we're going to go ahead and create a uh, directory, I should say, called uh, static. All right, that static file is going to hold our JavaScript, our CSS, and our static images. All right, so now we're going to go back in, or actually open up your uh, download folder or wherever you just downloaded Bootstrap and unzip that package. Inside that package, you're going to see there's a CSS and a JavaScript. If you open it up, you're going to notice there's a lot of CSS files. There's a lot of JavaScript script files. Go ahead and minimize those two. Go ahead and copy... Uh, select them both, the CSS and JavaScript, get and copy them, and then go over to your static directory and paste them in. Uh, depending on what type of text editor you're using, my method might have worked. If not, if your method, if my method did not work, use the file finder. So you just copy them here, go to your project, go into uh, Django, CMS, CMS, static, paste them in there. All right. Now we got our static files with in our um, our uh, static directory, uh, we're gonna go ahead and now get a template for our static or uh, for us to work with. Uh, so we're gonna go over to Bootstrap. So if you scroll down a little bit on our website here to create a template, you'll notice there's a Bootstrap starter template link in there. All right, so here's our template we're going to start out with on our homepage. Um, so first thing we're going to do is get right click. There we go. And view page source. This will bring up all the HTML and JavaScript um, code. And we'll hit Command A, Command C, the copy. And then back into our text editor, we're going to go ahead and right below static in the same directory as or in our base directory, we're going to go ahead and create a new directory. And we're going to call this directory templates. All right. This is going to hold all our templates for our project. In here, we're going to create a new file. We're going to call this file index.html. And that will be our home page. So in now inside the index.html, go ahead and press command V or um, was a control V on Windows to paste in the uh, HTML and CSS code. All right, before we uh, go any further, we're going to have to grab a, another file here. Notice there's a starter template CSS. Well, that is not shipped with the default um, bootstrap CSS information. All right. So what we need to do is grab that. So go back in here. We're going to get click on um, that link and we'll go ahead and say command S or control S and we're going to go to our project. So desktop, uh, no, that's not it. where is my project? Um, duh. 
All right, there we go. Yeah, a little slow today. There we go. CMS, CMS, static, CSS, and we'll save it in here to start our template. CSS, save it in there, and that's it for now. Okay, so we got all our files we need. So now what we're going to do is not close out my website because I need to show you something else. So bring that up real quick. Go over here, over here, 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 and we'll need this shortly. Okay, back into our text editor. First things first, um, we want to bring in the CSS and the JavaScript into our template so we can display something nice on our homepage. Now there's two ways to do this. There's the very hard way that would be to hard code in the paths to our CSS files. But since Django is awesome, we don't have to do that. We're going to go ahead and bring in a template tag called load static. And what this does is loads the path to the static directory right here. All right. So with that being said, we can come in and chop off this portion of our first CSS file and we'll do a curly brace percent symbol and we'll do um, not URL static and then uh, uh, a single quote and then we'll come over here and do another single quote and we'll do a percent symbol and a curly brace so that's all we have to do is to hook in our CSS files that way now if you look at our bootstrap dot min dot CSS if you look on my screen up here um, you're not familiar with PyCharm, you notice it has bootstrap.css. This is just a uh, thing for uh, PyCharm, so if you're using a different text editor, it's going to look different. But in theory, all these files are all in the CSS. They're not separately um, contained. So if I open up CSS here, notice all these files are in here. There's no separate directories. So just to give you guys a little heads up that if your screen doesn't look like a mindset, that's because it's a uh, pie chart. All right. Anyway, now we're going to come down and set up this, the path to the starter template. So we'll go ahead and do curly brace percent symbol and do static. And then we'll do um, a single quote CSS forward slash starter template. And down here, single quote and percent symbol and close out our curly brace. All right. <clears throat> That's enough for the CSS for now. Um, so now we're going to come down here and do, um, we got to bring in the vendor jQuery slim min dot JS file to save you guys a lot of typing. We're going to go over to our website and we're going to go to that file or to that link. And that link is right here. We're going to go ahead and copy that. And we're just going to replace this because who in the world wants to type all this out? So we'll go ahead and paste that in there. All right. Now down here for the pop uh, min.js, I'm just going to import that from a C, uh, CDN. So we're going to go ahead and grab the next uh, link. And we're going to come back in here and paste it in there like that. And then finally, you got the uh, bootstrap min.js. Well, we have that package already installed. So we'll just go ahead and hook this in with the um, curly brace percent symbol static. And then our single quote. And at the end, a single quote. And then percent symbol and curly brace. And there you go. All right. So that's all hooked up. Now we have our CSS and. Um, JavaScript hooked into our template. Our next step would be to now create a view for our template. So go ahead and inside your CMS directory right here that has your local settings and your settings.py file, go ahead and create a new file called views.py. All right, so the views.py, we haven't talked about any of these. Um, basically, this is what help um, returns a view to the user, right? So the user visits a website like this page right here. All right, they visit this website and they go to our home page, our home URL. All right, um, and then that's sent to a URLs.py file in Django. Django will go through the URLs.py file looking for this URL. When it finds that URL, it's going to go. We'll make it even simpler for you guys. 
and look at the URLs file. We don't have a URLs file in here yet, but we're going to in a second, so we'll go ahead and write it now. So notice the empty string here. That that indicates. Whoops, that should be a quote. Uh, comma. <clears throat> this indicates our home page. All right, we have nothing in here, and then we're going to have a view over here. So we'll say views dot index and then name. Don't worry about this. I'll explain it in a second. It will be index. All right. So when we visit the home page. Uh, Django will go through and look for the home page. This one is the home page because there's nothing there. It indicates an empty string. Hey, this is the home page. It's going to look for the views and then the index. So then it goes into the views page and looks for either a function or a class indicating to Django what to display back to the user. All right. In our case, we're just going to create a simple function that returns a template. All right. So we're going to say uh, from Django dot contrib. Uh, no, not control. Shortcuts import uh, render. All right, so we want to render a template back to the user, and then we're just going to create a simple view function. So define index, and we need to pass in request. It's one of the required parameters, and then we'll just say return turn render request, and then here's our template. So we'll just say index.html. And then comma and an empty dictionary because that's a context variable, context variable that we're not using right now. So there we go. All right, that's our view set up. It's completely set up for us to um, display to the user now. Now we just need to do one thing in the URLs. We already created the URLs. Like I said, this is the home page. Our views .index. Well, here's index, right? So we're saying, hey, go to the views file and then get the index function. And then right here, we're just naming this view for later use when we hook in URLs to it. So last thing we need to do is import the views file. So we'll say from dot import views, all right? So now we hook that in. Now, technically all we have to do is go and run our terminal. So clear the screen and see where we're at here. Python man shut people out of the server. What in the world is going on here? All right, so since I'm doing Python and Django bouncing back and forth, my thing got screwed up. So hold on. Source bin. CD into CMS, LS. And Python manage.py run server. There we go. Now we'll go ahead and refresh this page. There we go. We got a bootstrap starter template up and running. We got oh, we got all this cool stuff. We built a pretty cool template within 13 minutes of going through this process. Now, with that being all said, we did something pretty uh, cool today. We updated a lot of files and. Um, created a view and created uh, URLs. Last thing we probably should do is create a Git repository. This is uh, always good when you make changes to your website to do uh, or to your project. That way when something does go wrong, you can roll back and um, leave off the last place it actually worked. So with that being said, if you are not following along in our tutorials and you just ended up on this video, go ahead and run git init. All right. This will reinitialize or initialize a git repository. All right. With that being said, the next command we're going to run is git add. And basically what this does is it goes out and gets all the files that have changed since the initialization. Um, and package them up for us. So there we go. Next thing we're going to do is convert this to a repository. We're going to do git commit and then dash m so we can leave a message and we'll just say our initial our initial uh, git, um, commit. All right. And there we go. We got all these files that were added or changed or modified and they are now put into the git repository. All right, so if you guys have any questions on what we did today or how we did it or you need more help with something else, please let us know. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next tutorial where we go ahead and uh, finish this 
up and uh, then we'll finally get this up on Heroku. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next tutorial.